We begin with the back-to-back -back diplomacy first Seoul, with two of its closest partners this week, China and the United States. That's right. Watchers say Seoul could find itself in a tough spot with some controversial issues on the table. Arirang's Hwang Sung hee has this story. Korea could find itself tangled between two superpowers following its back-to-back -back meetings with China and the United States this week. The touchy subjects topping the agenda are the possible deployment of the Washington-led Thought missile defense system in South Korea and Seoul's participation in China's Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Following talks with its South Korean counterpart Lee kyung soo on Monday, Chinese Assistant Minister of Foreign Affairs Liu Jian Chao said they'd had a very open and honest discussion about the Thought deployment. Liu added that Beijing hopes Seoul will consider China's interest and concerns about the matter. Beijing is against the deployment because of concerns that its radar system, which can cover 1,000 kilometers, could be used to monitor mainland China. Although Seoul and Washington say there have been no official discussions on THAAD, the U.S. forces Korea said last Thursday that it conducted site surveys on where to deploy the missile defense system. As for Seoul's participation in the AIIB, Liu said he reiterated China's hopes for Korea to join the bank as a founding member. The AIIB, aimed at creating a new financial order centered around China, is opposed by the U.S. because it believes Beijing could use it for political purposes. Seoul will reportedly make its final decision on joining this new financial institution later this month. And all this comes just a day before U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Daniel Russell meets with South Korean officials. While Russell is widely expected to address these two sensitive issues, an official at Seoul's foreign ministry brushed off the speculations, saying that his visit has nothing to do with the thought deployment or the AIIB. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.